What's up? MethLab here, more commonly known as MLab. As requested, I'm going to be sharing my personal Bolt setup. I'm going to go over all three factions, however the same setup pretty much gets repeated. So if you're not particularly interested in how I spec out my Bolt action, feel free to enjoy the gameplay. Once you get the hang of bolt action sniping, it's probably one of the most enjoyable playstyles in Planetside 2. It offers high risk and high reward, favouring soldiers with good aim. Of course, how your loadout is structured affects the influence you have on the battlefield, so let's jump right into it. The cornerstone of any diehard close range sniper is the low magnification rifle. For TR, this comes in the form of the SAR-42. The mobility provided by this rifle is second to none in its class. Being able to quickly engage and eliminate enemies is the strength of this rifle. A 4x scope and the straight ball bolt is how I personally run this gun. Silencers impact heavily on the muzzle velocity and therefore are not viable for this style of play. An alternative to the SAR is the M77B which utilises long range optics. I choose the M77 over the other long range rifles due to the best in class rechamber time, excluding the purpose built SAR. I run this rifle with the default 6x scope and the straight pull bolt for quick follow up shots. The rest of the loadout consists of a commissioner as the secondary which provides high alpha damage to help finish off wounded targets, and a motion spotter to provide real-time feedback on the location of potential threats. For the ability slot, I run the default Hunter Cloak because it provides the longest uptime. In the suit slot, I personally run the Adrenaline Pump, but I would highly recommend the Grenade Bandolier. This brings me onto the Grenade Slot, which is an easy choice, the EMP. The secondary role of an info other than providing intel to their teammates is destroying and disabling enemy deployables such as beacons, motion spotters or explosives and the EMP grenade goes hand in hand with this. The added offensive bonus of draining enemy shields and leaving them weak should not be overlooked either. Because of your sustained close quarter contact with enemy hostiles you're bound to receive damage and the medical kit is the clear choice to quickly restore lost health. Now let's take a quick look at the NC and VS equivalents. Starting on the NC side we've got the Sassar and the NC14 Bolt Driver. Just like their TR counterparts they deliver great damage with deadly accuracy. And finally on Vanu we've got the Ghost and the XM98. Now I know that the stats for the Sar, the Sassar and the Ghost are all the same, however personally the Ghost is my favourite. Perhaps this is because of the new, well, let's call it a feature, where you rechamber with the wrong hand. The ghost does not feature this and therefore it doesn't take up as much of my screen. Cheers for watching this short video and I hope I have been able to give you an insight into how I run my bolt actions. Feel free to check out any of my other videos on the channel and any feedback or discussion is more than welcome in the comments section below.